living in Dhaka, Bangladesh, but before that I was living in Kodaikanal, uh, Tamil Nadu, which is in India. I completed my IB diploma from Kodaikanal International School, but before that I was living in Bangladesh and I finished my O-levels from here. And uh, today I'll be talking to you about applying to the University of Toronto. I will be touching over important stuff like finances, scholarships, I'll go over how to shape your application, I'll tell you a little about, bit about the University of Toronto and I'll be telling you about the extracurriculars that I did and how I shaped my application. So I will be attending as an incoming freshman this fall uh, at the University of Toronto, the St. George campus. The University of Toronto has three campuses. One is the downtown campus, which is the one that I'll be going to. And then there are two satellite campuses, uh, one in Mississauga and the other in Scarborough. I will be pursuing an Honours Bachelor's of Commerce degree from the Rodman Commerce program at U of T. And uh, hopefully at the end of my four years there, I plan to specialize in finance and economics. Now, uh, something that you should know about is when I say specialist uh, or specialize, there are three things that you can do at the University of Toronto to complete your degree at the end of uh, your four years there. You could either do one specialist or you could do two majors or you could be doing one major with two minors. Now, this isn't something extremely important for you to know right now. You'll uh, understand this better when you apply and when you attend. Um, but mainly this has to do with the, how you distribute your uh, 20 credits, which are the number of credits that you require to graduate at the end of four years. The reason I chose the University of Toronto is because it's ranked number one in Canada. The Rotman Commerce program in particular is one of the best business programs in the country. And I really like the fact that I'll be staying in downtown Tor Toronto. So for the last two years of my life, I lived on a hill station, which is pretty secluded from uh, city life. And I really thought that for the next four years, I don't want to be living in a rural or a semi-rural area. I wanted uh, that city life and that's why I applied to downtown Toronto and uh, the other colleges that I applied to were also in and around cities. Um, so I think it's really important that when you apply to college you should consider things like uh, what kind of environment do you like, are you a person that's okay with cold weather or do you prefer hotter climates. Um, there are a lot of things that you should consider because you have to realize that for the next four years you're going to be living in a place and you really need to like that place to be able to perform well in college. So, but beyond that I know that to a lot of you rankings matter. Um, although personally I'm, I suggest that you don't go on rankings. But as statistics go, the University of Toronto consistently ranks in the global top 30 in terms of uh, university rankings and uh, it ranks fourth globally in terms of research impact. So that should be something interesting for people who are going for subjects like life sciences, uh, biology and stuff like that, uh, mostly research oriented uh, work. Um, so the University of Toronto has this thing called the college system. This is particularly important if you're applying to the Faculty of Arts and Sciences. If you're going for something like Applied Sciences or Architecture, it's not as important for you. But my Rotman Commerce program is jointly delivered between the Faculty of Arts and Sciences and the Rotman School of Management, which meant that when I was applying to U of T, I had to apply it to their colleges as well. Now, when you're applying, you get to rank your top three picks out of seven possible colleges. Um, now, it's very important that you research your college as well because the college that you get into is going to be very important for your experience at U of T. The college is basically your academic go-to point. Uh, the registrar at the college handles your scheduling and stuff like that. You also use the library facilities there, your dormitories in that college. And beyond that, something super important is that colleges give you scholarships while you're studying there. Now, there are big colleges with large communities. Uh, they have 
uh, numbers around 1800 incoming freshmen but there are also colleges which have about four to five hundred incoming freshmen now why the size of your college matters is because the bigger colleges like uh, university college they offer a larger number of scholarships so it's given out to more people but the value of the scholarships are considerably less compared to the smaller colleges like Trinity and Victoria which give out a smaller number of scholarships but the value of the scholarships are much larger so financially speaking the college you get into really matters especially if you're looking to get scholarships while you're studying there um, and when you apply to the University of Toronto, you get to list three possible programs that you want to apply to. Um, so there's your top choice program and then there are two others. You can either choose to apply to the same campus but different faculties or you can apply to the three different campuses um, within, uh, similar uh, within similar subjects or faculties. Now that's uh, totally up to you. I think uh, another very important thing for attending college, especially as an international student, is finances and there are a couple of scholarships at University of Toronto that you should be aware of when you're applying. Canada in general doesn't really have age-based scholarships for international students, but there are a few merit-based scholarships at the University of Toronto in particular that might be very useful for you to know about. Now, the number one major scholarship to be aware of is the Lester B. Pearson Scholarship. It's a full ride through your four years at college and all costs are covered. This includes your books, your tuition, your dorm fees, everything. Uh, annually, it's given out to around 37 students, but there's a stiff amount of competition and you have to be nominated for it by your school. After this, there's an application process where you have to write a couple of essays um, when you're writing these essays, it's good to have a narrative. Uh, it's good to have a story that tells them about you. Now, these essays, usually they go over what kind of extracurriculars you did. Um, there are prompts such as um, the prompts that uh, I had to write were I had to write a self-recommendation letter and I also had to write why I want to attend the University of Toronto, how does that build into the future that I see for myself, what career path I'm going for, stuff like that. So the other major scholarship for the Faculty of Arts and Sciences is the International Scholars Award that amounts to around 100,000 Canadian dollars that's spread out over your four years at U of T. This is awarded to about 50 people and there are no external applications that you have to fill out as such. Uh, all students who apply to the, uh, to the Faculty of Arts and Sciences are automatically taken into consideration for this award when they apply. And there are also other entrance scholarships, but those are usually around 2000 to 5000 Canadian dollars, so it's not really that much. Now the application process. So the application process begins in early October. Be sure to be on the lookout for when the OUAC portal opens. The OUAC portal is the Ontario University's application center. So it's one central spot where you fill out a primary application and that goes out to as many uh, universities in Ontario that you want. Um, so the Ontario University is including universities like McMaster, um, University of Waterloo, there's U of T, there's Ryerson, there's York. So you can apply to as many as you want through that application portal. But I applied directly to the University of Toronto instead of applying to multiple colleges through the OUAC. Um, the application is fairly simple. The primary application requires basic information about you and your family. Um, and then once that goes to the University of Toronto, in a week's time, they give you access to the applicant portal with, along with the student ID. And this is where your real application begins. So there is a program supplementary application um, for the Rotman Commerce program. I had to fill out a supplementary application, which had two video response questions and three essay writing questions. Now, the important thing to note about this is the fact that 
all these responses are timed so each essay uh, writing question has 20 minutes for you to fill it up and each video response question is it gives you 45 seconds prep time and then 60 to 90 seconds